I made a Halloween game in just six days. Hello everyone, I'm Dylan Conformist and welcome back to a brand new video. So yes, you've heard that. Well, I did it. Why? I started it because it's a new exam for the university. Because I had a university course called Principles of Game Design and I was supposed to create either a board game or a video game. And since I'm very passionate about this field, of course, I chose using Unity. So here we are. And without any more introduction, let's jump into the process and I'll show you how I made it, what were the challenges, what was the fun part, and let's get into it. So as you can see, this is the mind menu, but of course it wasn't the first one. First I had this interface, and I felt like it was a bit off. It didn't go along with sweet spirits, okay, but what's sweet in this image, for example? The colors, maybe, but we don't want only the colors, right? So this is why I chose this one. It took longer than I thought, but hey, the end result, I feel like it's the best one. It fits the theme and the game perfectly fine. And yes, as you can see, I've only used Canva for the UI mostly. And of course the Unity editor. Now, this is the main menu scene. Not a lot of interesting things right here. The audio for the background music, the buttons, and something very interesting, the options button. If you press it, here you can see the controls. So all the keyboard that you basically have to use and how to win the game. I keep it short and simple. Collect all the candies and teleport to other dimensions to free your soul because you are a pumpkin and you want to do that during the Halloween night. So this is where my game is happening. And PS, watch out for monsters because trust me, I have a lot of monsters in my game. Now let's go to the funny part. So level one, as you can see, I have a lot of things in here. First thing that I want to mention is that I've used a lot of assets from the Unity Asset Store, of course. Some things were made Made by myself some things were made with ai and you will see exactly what i'm talking about so here we got a directional light moon we got the light we got all the lights basically the respawn point which is happening that after every time you die you will respawn at the beginning of the scene of course audio manager we got a lot of sounds in here we got the background music we got the steps so while you're walking you can see yourself walking basically candy collector every time you collect the candy you will hear sound the bats that are flying the laugh i wasn't really sure about this one if i should keep it still here or not but from the trees because they are you know smiling in a very spooky way the ouch sound so every time a monster hits you you will hear something so you will also pay attention to your hearts because they are very very important and respawn every time you're respawning you will be able to hear a weird sound <laughs> pumpkin player this is you my friend this is the main camera this is just you basically in the game the monsters i have ghosts i have the zombies and everything i took the animation for the monsters from mixamo for those who don't know it's a free website you just have to create an account and download the animations from there and then modify them in the animator in unity or however you want and now something very interesting it's the fog because this asset was actually fire in the unity asset store it was literally a fire particle that i transformed into fog and thank you you guys very much because first i had in mind a blue fog and then someone in the comments said why are you not using purple because you know it's more halloween related and i said maybe you're right because i want also my game to look kind of purple in a way you know it's correlated to halloween of course and yeah it looks very very nice i feel like it's something simple and special that makes the game very unique now the lighting of course i use a lot of point lights in the scene all of them were from the scene that i downloaded from unity so not a lot of modified stuff in there the graveyard all the objects that i've added myself they are from others assets as well i just combined a lot in one invisible fence this was a funny and also a bit challenging part because i was trying to fix the space key because if you press space multiple times you were able to fly and i don't want to cheat in my game so i was thinking maybe i can find a script or use ea to make a script that won't allow you to press space more times than three but it didn't work i tried a lot of times and it really didn't work and then i had this idea of adding box colliders and thanks to jj and other people that were there during the live stream because trust me i did a lot of live streams with it they said why aren't you using a box collider make it visible first and then invisible so that you know exactly where you can put it and that's exactly what i did it just took a bit longer because my scene it's with heels and stuff it has a terrain which is a bit harder but for the other levels it was totally fine because they were all on a plane so not a lot of different levels each and there but yeah this was a bit challenging now the bats this is also 
something very interesting and unique in my game because first i've added bats i was like hmm, maybe it would be nice where you're looking up in the fog to see something flying of course bats again halloween related but then i had this idea in which i was like what if i'm gonna make them running in circles and drag them a bit down so you will actually be able to see them flying in front of your face and if they hit you they will take one life away i had this revelation i was like oh my god this game is gonna be huge i'm gonna love it just each eye for free but anyways the thing is, I spent a lot of time trying to find the right script to make that one work and correlate it with your hearts, with the text match pro basically in Unity. Turns out great, it worked. Also a bit challenging part as well, and I've adjusted the speed for each. So you can see here we got 14 radius and speed 1, but if I go somewhere else 19 and 0.6, I just played with them so they will fly randomly in the map. You won't be able to see them, you know, at the same time or something like that. The NPCs are just NPCs, just decorations for Halloween, nothing interesting about them. The environment, basically all the objects in the scene, again, not really interesting i mean of course they are interesting in the game but not when i have to explain them the candies this was also something very funny because i had to make them actually work and i've added a sound and thanks to jason that was in one of my live streams i made a different sound with only different line of code and every time you collect something you will heal something differently even though it's the same object you won't hear the same sound every time and you won't become that annoying so it was very very nice to have this add-on small simple but original and of course for the candies as i said i have the script for the countdown and item pickup thing i was also paying attention to the fact that here in this scene are 75 candies keep that in mind because you will see what i'm mentioning this then the ui canvas something that wasn't very complicated i mean mm, it depends the hearts that you see here, the candy that you see here, and the timer are all AI generated. I've used Adobe Firefly for them. I was trying to give the best prompt so he will understand what I have in mind. The background, as you can see here, the gray one, I made it on Canva myself. The text, I've used Unity Text Mesh Pro for it, but they all somehow match and they look nice. It's not something very complicated, but it's all that you need to know how many hearts you have the time the candies uh why is the time important so when you start the game you will see that you have 10 minutes and it's going down for every time that a monster kills you it takes away 20 seconds of the total time you have 10 minutes to finish two levels to collect all the candies which are a lot for the first level you have to collect 75 and for the second one 80 and then you will reach the final destination which i won't spoil i think because i want that to be a surprise for you at the very end once you finish the game yeah so this is the concept with the time hopefully people will have enough time if time runs out and let's say you got killed too many times or you didn't you know reach the end goal you will see a pop-up that will say time is out and and you will be redirected to the main menu i've connected everything it took a while because i wasn't very advanced I, I didn't have a lot of experience with transitions but i'm very happy that i made them work and yesterday i spent a lot of time doing this but it pays off hopefully guys you will play the game feel free to give me a lot of feedback i don't get upset with anything i embrace the constructive feedback it's in my nature so feel free to do that so for the hearts for the candy and for the timer just the script as i've told you is not something very out of place i think all of you know how to use them where next is an image that i made in canva which tells you how many candies you need i've used the same ui for the candies in my game to you know associate everything so it will make more sense once you have collected all the candies and you step into a hole you will be teleported to the next level that's how this game works otherwise it won't the options button while you play if you press the e button you will see the controls and everything that you are supposed to use during the game the quit confirmation is a menu that if you press the ask key you will receive this and you will be actually able to exit the game if you press no you will still be exactly where you left so it won't redirect you to the mine menu or you won't lose your progress basically it saves automatically the options manager quit manager and event system so this is pretty much what i have in the first level level two this is how it looks 
I love it, the vibe is there, definitely. The fog, I'm in love with the fog. The fire, undercover fire. Not a lot of different things. Same mechanics, same bats, di just different objects. The monsters are still the same, I was thinking about changing them. I haven't done that, but I think it's okay, I don't really mind. That's pretty much it. I haven't removed or added a lot of stuff. I've just changed, as I said, the background. And the final level is a surprise. So as you can see here, now back to my assets, because I've created this folder where I have everything. I used Mixamo and I've tried to do them myself. Also, something that I did, I created the candies in Blender myself and I generated the texture for them. So it's AI generated again, but I'm very happy it works. The images, the images that I've made in Canva and then I've converted them to a sprite in the game. The materials, I took them from the assets, the one that I liked and put them here. The mixers, I have a lot of sounds as you can see. I really needed one. The models, just as I've told you. The candy, the prefabs, just few. Scenes, these are the scenes we've played with them before. The scripts, for the bats, for the candy, for the look at player. So this is from the text because I wanted every time the player moves around the text will display towards you it's something simple but i feel like you know it's meant to be that way the mind menu script monster ai for the monsters so oh also something that i forgot to mention is that the monsters will follow you only when you are close to them they won't follow you right away so once you press start they won't start following you if you go next to them that's the point when they will actually move around and come closer to you. Let me show you. So here, as you can see, we got monster AI, the pumpkin player. So who is going to follow? Well, that's the target. Move speed, detection range. This is the thing. Detection range, hit damage and attack range. So detection, that's pretty much it. It will detect it and then it will start moving. The options on off is for... E. When you press that key, you will see that menu. The player health is basically for the hearts and stuff like that. Player movement, the way you move, jump and so on. Quit confirmation, that ask key menu. Starting timer, those 10 minutes that you have and decrease 20 seconds every time a monster hits you. Teleport, so from one scene to another, but this is from the second scene to the final scene. And this is the one from the first scene to... No, it was exactly the opposite way. Never mind, you got it. Here are the sounds for the bats, for the music, footsteps, item pickup, basically for the candies, my menu. Hold on, dark ambient and my menu. Okay, that's a bit weird. I don't know what's that anymore. Glove from the trees, ouch sound, respawn and wait. Wait is for... So if you press E, you are hearing this music, right? But if you press E... See? You will hear this magical sound that somehow makes you pay attention that something is happening different in the scene basically so not a lot of imported assets one two three four five six seven assets the thing is i haven't really used that many items i just used one from each or something like that i mean yes the scenes i've used them two scenes but also the third one items just a few mechanics were very important in this game this game is actually a demo game it's not really a full game the thing is i'm thinking because for the exam I might reduce the amount of candies that you have to collect because they are too many and I have to present this game within god knows two minutes three minutes something like that so we can play together so I want him to see also the second and third level not just be stuck in the first one yeah so this is how I made the Halloween game please make sure to download it I promise it's very interesting even though they were six days I promise I put a lot of work into it a lot of passion frustrations even and I think the final outcome really pays off. And please feel free to give me all your feedback in the comment section. Play the game, have fun, happy Halloween everyone, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.